Good morning and welcome to the Task Morning Show. Oman is all set to celebrate the 51st National Day in accordance with the COVID-19 precautionary measures on Thursday, November 18th. The General Secretary for National Celebration said, His Excellency Sheikh Seba bin Hamdan Al Saadi, Secretary General of the General Secretary for National Celebration said, apart from the military parade that will be held presided by His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq, there will also be reception ceremonies across all vilayats. As part of Oman's 51st National Day, the Royal Oman Police has announced parking restrictions in some areas of Muscat Governorate. In a statement issued, ROP said, motorists will be prohibited from parking vehicles on both sides of the road from Al Baraka Palace roundabout to the military parade square at Al Murtafa camp on Thursday, November 18th from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces on Wednesday, issued a special royal pardon for 252 prisoners, including 84 foreigners, according to Oman TV. The pardon coincides with the Oman's 51st National Day. Ministry of Health has reduced the time period for taking the COVID-19 booster dose from 8 months to 6 months. In a statement issued, MOH said, the booster dose can be taken if a person completes six months of taking his second COVID-19 dosage. Currently, MOH is offering Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine as a third dose to high-risk groups. In what could be a history in medical field, the Royal Hospital successfully performed the first ever liver transplant on a five-year-old child in Oman. In a statement issued, the hospital called it as a medical achievement. The organ transplant department at the Royal Hospital is performing the first liver transplantation in the Sultanate of Oman for a five-year-old child, which is a medical achievement at the national level and one of the most important successes of the National Programme for Transfer and Transplantation of Human Organs and Tissue, Royal Hospital said. Thank you for joining us on the TAS Morning Show. To get the latest updates, log on to thearabianstories.com.